Hello, <coughs> and so this is a quick overview of AutoFence Creator. Two main features of AutoFence are to design new styles of fence and then automatically lay out and build the fences in the scene with hopefully just a few clicks. So, beginning from a clean import of AutoFence into the project, you start it from the Game Object menu or press uh, Shift Control F. So there we've got the uh, the creator. It's then really as simple as shift clicking in the scene to uh, to build the vents like this one, two, three, four. So there's five clicks. Then we can close the loop. So there we've got uh, a complete fence, relatively easily. Um, it's still live. So, you know, we can change parameters like the height or the number of rails. Um, but for now, we'll clear that. And we'll start with a simple one. And run through a few presets. Um, <coughs> hopefully, it's going to cover most of the kind of fences you could want. It's a classic kind of panel one and typical white picket fence. Um, this is the kind you see by the side of streets. Um, well, that's pretty useful in most games, I guess. Uh, crowd railings we've got. Uh, just plain wood. This one's a plastic safety barrier. Yeah. Logs. We got that one with a kind of a rope effect. Uh, that one, you know, just to demonstrate, you don't need rails. You can just have it really simple. Um, and let's have a look at this one, Victoriana. Okay, this is a quick overview on how to design your own fences. The main idea is you've got three different components, the posts, the rails, and the subtypes. So we'll go through those. Uh, on the post, we could have a look at a brick post, or let's try a wooden one, or even a broken wooden one. Uh, just a nice blocky one. And we can, of course, adjust the height. Adjusting the height scales everything. Um, if you did just want to adjust the height of the post, you can do it there. So we'll set the overall height to two. Uh, we can change the number of rails. So let's just have one rail. And we can scale that up. Then we can choose from the different rail types. Uh, and we've got some kinds which are called panels, which as you see fill the whole height of the, the post up. Um, and then we've got the ordinary ones, the regular slim ones like that. Um, let's go back to two rails and adjust the gap between them and bring them much closer together. Okay, now we'll switch on sub posts. These are the ones that go between the main posts. Uh, again, choose from a whole variety of those. Let's go for pointed post and uh, increase the size of that a bit. It's nice and chunky. We'll bring the height down as well. Uh, then we've got this use wave feature which lets you put a pattern on those sub posts as you can see uh, bring the height down a bit more and you can adjust the amplitude of the pattern so quite subtle or really crazy uh, the frequency of the pattern and the offset the side to side offset With subs on, we'll try another couple of subs. Let's go for fence cylinder. Uh, 
we can try that rotated 90 degrees, see how that looks. And then try a different subtype. We go for metal fence post. Uh, let's have a lot less of them, so we'll increase the spacing between them. Then we'll turn wave off and drop the overall height down just a little bit. And then reduce the round gap to match. And that's the basic idea behind designing your own fences. Right, let's have a look at the layout features of Auto Fence. So we'll shift click in the scene to just build a rough shape. Um, as you can see, it's interpolated between the main click points with extra posts. Uh, you can see these transform handles and the yellow spheres allow you to control click to delete points. Or you can hold down control shift and insert points. So it's pretty easy and you can switch those controls on and off. Okay, and now we'll switch smooth on, which does pretty much exactly as you'd expect. You can also close the loop. And if we switch the move controls back on, make a few more posts and then we can start dragging it about. And as you can see, the posts, the fence adapts completely to the underlying ground. A um, bit more explanation about interpolate. Uh, with it off, you can see it looks a bit ridiculous, great big long stretches. Uh, and with it on, it fills with however many posts you want, controlled by the distance. So very few, very well, too many. 